Okay, so let's have a look on the first questions here. Okay, in these questions over here, um, I need some space. Here. Okay, so I hope you can read the questions. So, uh, in these questions, they will say diagram thirteen show quadrilateral PQRS. Even is quadrilateral, you see, it always have the diagonal to make it into two different triangle because this topic you can only use the formula when it is triangle. All right, so they tell you the SQR is thirty degree, thirteen degree. All right, and then, okay, so they tell you this one, SRQ is obtuse. So like what I say just now, what is obtuse? Obtuse is the angle between 90 degree to 180 degree. Or I will say in the second quadrant, if you have, if you learned about trigo before. All right, so all the information given, they ask you to find the length of SQ. So I will find the length of SQ. All right, so when I will find the length of SQ, I will analyze like this. Should I use this triangle one or I use the triangle two? If I choose the triangle one, I have so little information which is almost impossible to use the triangle one to find a, the length of SQ. So I ignore the I ignore the SRQ triangle first. So I will see the triangle two here. Yes, you I can find easily find the SQ. You realize I have two sides and one angle in between. Just now I say two sides and one angle in between and you want to find the opposite length is exactly cosine rule. So in so over here you kind of need to use the cosine formula. So what is cosine formula? Which is a square equals to b square plus c square minus two b c cos a. And yeah, the formula I give just now I actually move the square to the other side, it becomes square root because this one is more straightforward. So therefore I can use this one to find sq. So my a is the sq, right? So I will just write sq here. Okay, equals to the square root of B and C, I say just now, is a two side. B can be 6 or B can be 10, it doesn't matter. Just you need to know you need to do 10 6 square plus 10 square minus 2 times 6 times 10 and cos the angle between, cos 60. All right, then this one, you basically, you can type everything in your calculator. You should be able to get the answer quite, quite fast. Time 2 times 6 times 10 times cos 60. All right, so yeah, calculator will tell you the length of it is 8.718. Maybe I put three decimal place, you know, get more accurate answer. All right, so after I get the SQ, so normally in this topic, after I get the length, I, I used to write here to give myself some idea later what information I have. So this is 8.718. All right, so they asked me to find the angle SRQ. I want to find the angle SRQ. So basically, I need to find this angle. So I will find this angle. Yeah, I, I need to see where is the 13 here. So SQR. SQR, that means this angle over here is 13 degree. If this angle is 13 degree, you realize this angle, do you have the opposite length? You, you then you check the opposite of this angle which is 3. So you have one combination, right? You have angle and opposite length. Just now I say if you have the one combination, basically you just use the sine rule here. So, okay, if I want to use the sine rule, I want to find the SRQ, I want to find the SRQ, right? So therefore, I will say sine angle SRQ. Okay, normally draw the angle, follow the pattern he give you. Uh, angle SRQ over the opposite length. The opposite will be the 8.71a equals to sine 13 degree over the opposite length which is 3. Then maybe you do step by step. So sine angle SRQ, I mean SRQ equals to you move the 8.71a to the other side. So sine 13 over 3 multiply 8.71a. All right, then you get some, uh, you will get 0 0.6537. All right, so therefore my angle SRQ, I will just shift sign my answer. So it's basically 40.82 degree. All right, so it's quite easy. Then I will write down 40.82. All right, this one, the first one is 8.718. Because I need to erase it, do not have enough space here. All right, so 
okay, I got, I easily get five mark as long as you need, you know, cosine rule and sine rule. Right, then, yeah, it's a sketch triangle part. They ask you to sketch the new triangle of PQR because you can see P, Q, and R both are all the three letters that also have the prime on it. So it's P prime, Q prime, and S prime, which have the different shape. So this is the important keyword, must have the different shape from the triangle PQR. So where is my triangle PQR, which is uh, this one, PQR. Right, so such that, okay, this here information must be careful. Huh? Such that uh, the angle must be same with the P, Q, and S. So it must be same with P, Q, and S. That means this angle need to be remain. So I erase this triangle first. Okay, so this angle must be the same, which is the P, Q, and S. All right. And then PS must equal to the PS. Okay, let me use the highlighter. Where's PS? Okay, this line must remain the same. PS must equal to PS. And then SQ must equal to the SQ. So this line must remain the same. Okay, so and then the angle at the middle must be the same also. Alright, so okay, now I need to analyze something is if today you you want to remain the same angle means what? If you want to remain the same angle, uh, that means you must have two line. The two line here, this two line you cannot move at all. Because what? One, I move a little bit. I move a little bit. You should be able to see the angle is changing, right? So if I want to have the same angle, I have two line, I cannot move at all. So you can see this angle is over here. So that means my line of SQ and QP or PQ, I cannot move these two lines. If I move a little bit, then the angle maybe is just not the same anymore. So therefore, my idea is the SQ and PQ is not movable. Not movable. Alright, so that's okay. Then, if these two lines, SQ and PQ, we cannot move it, then that means I can only move the line SP, right? Okay, if you find out the line you can only move, then just now I say, this is ambitious case. Ambitious case equals to isosceles triangle. That means now I want to draw an isosceles triangle like this because I must have the same SQ, right? So my SQ must be exactly the same. Do you see? I mean, I mean SP, not SQ. What am I saying? I must have the same length of SP, right? Because I highlighted SP. So therefore, I need to draw another line is exactly the same length for SP. So if this is my new P over here, then this S to P is 6 cm. I doesn't change the length of it. And just now I say my PQ, I cannot move, right? But PQ, I cannot move. It doesn't mean I cannot shorten it. I can shorten it, but I cannot move around. Because I move around, the angle will be changing. You get the idea? So therefore, where is my new triangle? My new triangle will be this one. This, this one will be my new triangle. I hope you should be able to see I highlighted and blue. Even the highlighted in one note is a bit... Nope. <laughs> so therefore, they ask me to sketch a triangle, I will just sketch like this. Right, of course, try to draw as similar as possible. Lah. Right, so this is my P, this is my Q. Uh, sorry, this is not my Q, this is my S, S prime, and then this is my Q prime. All right, so the question want me the SQ must be the same centimeter, yeah, 8.71A. And then my SP must be 6, this is 6. And then this angle must remain the same, yeah, I'm pretty sure my angle is the same. Yep, so my angle doesn't change at, at all. This is my angle here. Yeah, so therefore, they asked me to sketch this triangle. I done. Hence, they asked me to find the area of this triangle. So, in order to find the area of this triangle, like what I said just now, you don't have enough information because... So you need to work around, but actually it's not too hard to find the thing. Alright, because this is isosceles triangle here, so you know this over here will be 60 degree. So this one will be 120. 
So at least I know this is 120. All right. So, and then, is it possible I get the angle on the top? I don't think so. So over here, I kind of need to find this delta first. Then, then after that, I can get the last angle here. And then you realize I have one combination over here, isn't it? So if I have one combination over here, I can use the sine rule. So I will just say sine theta over opposite length, which is 6, equals to sine 120 over 8.718. Then I can get my theta easily here by using the calculator. So which is sine 120 over 8.718 multiplied by 6. And then I will shift sign my answer. Oops, 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 oops. Then I will shift sign my answer. Yeah, the angle over here is 36 point, is 36 point five nine. All right, so if this is 36 point five nine over here, then I can get this angle easily, right? Because it's triangle, I use 180 minus these two. So 180 minus my answer in my calculator, and minus 120. Then I can know my last angle over here is 23.41. Alright, so after I got this angle, and you realize I have one angle and two sides, right? Now I have the information to find the area. Then I can find this area easily by half, two sides, which is 6 and 8.718. Multiply the sine, the angle between, which is 23.41. Alright, then I just type everything in the calculator. So I just type sine answer first, because my calculator still got 23.41. Sine answer, multiply 3, because 6 divided by 2 is 3, multiply 8.718. Alright, my area will be 10.39 centimeter, right? So it's cm square. Alright, this is how I sketch the new triangle using the isosceles triangle method and then how do I find the area of triangle even though I don't have the information two sides and one angle in between. Alright, so far so good.